Life is like a giant store. Every morning you wake up and you're confronted with thousands of goods that you might buy. Earlier, we introduced the notion that you're trying to make yourself as well off as possible. Some of those goods on offer at the store may help make you better off. So how do you decide what to buy from the store of life? Well, you need to consider your preferences for various types of quantities and goods. Now normally, a responsible individual would also need to consider her budget when deciding what bundles of goods to buy. But let's start by having some fun. Imagine there are no constraints and you can buy whatever you want. Congratulations, you've just won the lottery. You still need to think about your preferences. And because you're not just a millionaire, you're a rational millionaire, these preferences are going to follow some rules. First, when you're comparing two bundles of goods, you either prefer one or the other, or you're indifferent between the two. When asked which bundle you prefer, you can't just shrug your shoulders and answer, I don't know. Second, your preferences need to be logically consistent. If you prefer an apple to a banana, and you prefer a banana to a cherry, you better prefer an apple to a cherry. Anything else wouldn't make much sense. And finally, for now, more is always better. You may not want that fifth slice of pizza as much as you wanted each of the first four, but you'll take it if the restaurant offers it for free. Often it will be helpful to represent these preferences using a graphical representation. Think about how a subway map condenses a city into lines, showing how you get from station to station. Or how an emoji condenses your mood into a single smiling yellow face. We'll use the same strategy to represent your preferences, condensing your feelings about goods into a simplified map that reflects your preferences for one good versus another, a map that we'll call indifference curves. Suppose you're out to dinner, and the only items on the menu are pizza slices and cookies. Consider three choices. Two slices and one cookie, one slice and two cookies, or two slices and two cookies. Remember, more is better, so you prefer the third option to the other two. But let's assume that you're the type of person who is just as happy with either of the first two options. That is, you're indifferent between these two bundles. Let's graph these preferences. First, we plot a point for each of the bundles. The x-axis, or horizontal axis, will reflect the number of pizza slices. The y-axis, or vertical axis, will reflect the number of cookies. So bundle A would be placed here, at two slices on the x-axis and one cookie on the y-axis. And B and C go here and here. Next, since you're just as happy with bundle A as you would be with bundle B, we can draw an indifference curve that passes through points A and B. All points on this indifference curve, including A and B, represent bundles between which you're indifferent. You'd be just as happy with one pizza and two cookies as you would be with half a slice and three cookies or with four slices and half a cookie. What about that option of two slices and two cookies? Well, you prefer that option to any of these others. So that bundle will lie in a higher indifference curve. And you prefer any bundle on this new higher indifference curve to any bundle on the lower indifference curve. That leads us to the first of four important properties of indifference curves. Consumers prefer higher indifference curves. More is better. And as you move away from the origin in this graph, you're getting more of both goods. Second, indifference curves are downward sloping. To get more pizza, you have to give up some cookies. Third, indifference curves never cross. Each indifference curve contains all the bundles that give you a certain amount of satisfaction. No two indifference curves can share a point, so they can't intersect. Fourth, there is one indifference curve through each possible bundle. Now that we've discussed preferences, let's turn to talking about utility.